Mercedes saw a glimmer of hope during the first day of testing in Bahrain as the team's W14 looked like it had finally resolved the issues that plagued its predecessor. But as the sessions went on, it seemed as though new problems have risen for the Brackley-based team. And as for the specifics, well, you've clicked on the right video to find out. So let's not prolong this intro any further and get right into the good stuff. Both Lewis Hamilton and George Russell went under the radar during the testing sessions at Bahrain this past week. While their rivals Ferrari and Red Bull traded fastest lap times, the Silver Arrows racked up countless laps to figure out how they can improve their W14 for the upcoming season. But the team's hard work was put to a grinding halt as they would face a setback on the second day of action as Russell's car came to an unexpected halt due to a hydraulics malfunction. As the test week progressed, Hamilton looked back on their performance and acknowledged that Russell's incident compounded the already challenging start for Mercedes. Although they seemed to have overcome their bouncing issues, the team is now faced with a new set of challenges they have to address. Asked about Mercedes' test so far, Hamilton said, I think it's difficult to sum it up. I think we've had a couple of difficult days. Yesterday particularly was difficult. The first day didn't feel too bad, but yesterday was a little bit more of a struggle. I think George has had a much better morning today in P2, like the first day. I got to go in for the afternoon, so hopefully we've got the setup in a bit of a better place. Hamilton would be asked whether or not the W13's problems had been finally addressed. Kind of like our problem, with a good amount of our viewers still not subscribing to our channel. What do you say you channel your inner Mercedes and address this issue, hmm? Now, let's get back to what Lewis had to say. The seven-time world champion would respond with, Right now, for example, the bouncing that we had is pretty much gone, so that's a huge step for us. It's nice to drive without the bouncing for once, but there are still some underlying things that we're working through. Hamilton would also add that it is still very early in the season for him to gauge where the team lies in the standing. Some of the balance limitations that we had last year are present. We're working through them. But I'm really proud of everyone in the team for continuing to remain positive after a tough year last year, doing amazing through the winter for us to drive and have the mileage that we've had. The second day of testing was so abysmal for the team that reports have stated that Lewis had called an emergency meeting with the team to address the issues that plagued them that day. When asked about the issues that the team is facing, the team's head of trackside engineering, Andrew Shovelin, would provide some insight and say, We've not had a strong second day. Stopping on track with a reliability issue wasn't great, and we have struggled to get the car balanced well across the changing conditions. We've got some investigations going on to understand why this has been such a challenging day today, when yesterday it was fairly straightforward. That work will continue into the night, and no doubt we'll understand more come the morning. Toto Wolff would have the same things to say when asked about the team's performance on Friday. The car is out of balance this morning, and you can see in the driving leaving tire marks on acceleration, said the Mercedes team principal. It's hot, and we just didn't find the right setup for these conditions, which is part of the learning, I guess, with a new car. It definitely is not the driver who's overdriving the tires or pushing it. It's the car that doesn't give him enough grip from the rear. So this is something we need to sort out over the course of the journey. George Russell would also echo the same sentiments as Wolf and Shovelin, as he would say, The entry phase has been improved. I think it's no secret when you're watching the onboard videos that we are struggling a little bit with the balance, struggling a lot in the mid-corner but I think it's a balance that is probably easier to solve than what we had last year. So even though there's still a limitation, let's say it's a good problem to have. Definitely in terms of feeling, it feels like a step in the right direction. Compared to this time 12 months ago, things are running a lot smoother. When we were here last year, there were a lot of alarm bells ringing with porpoising. We weren't sure how to resolve it. We were a bit lost. Things have been running much smoother. Reliability has been strong so far. For sure, we've got things we need to improve with the car, but generally speaking, we are where we would have expected to be at this time of year. 
The third day of testing went better for Mercedes, as George Russell would finish second during the morning session, and Lewis, on the other hand, would finish second as well during the night session. After the final session of testing in Bahrain, Lewis would reflect on the team's performance as a whole and say, It's been an interesting few days. It's never easy. There's been a lot of discovery. I think the thing that I have been most impressed with is that it's my 11th year with the team and everyone's turned up with the same mentality, working hard. No one has been complacent. We realize that we have a mountain to climb and no one has been fussed. Everyone has kept their heads down. Really proud of that. Everyone in the garage, back here and at the factory, will be going through all of this data and pushing on. Reliability has generally been good. Obviously, we had a stop yesterday, but generally it's been relatively good. At the end, it's always nice when the track gets a bit cooler and you put on the softer tires and see the steps between them all. We're not quite where we want to be, but it's a good platform to start from. Last season, the team was hampered by porpoising issues that greatly affected their straight-line speed. An improvement Lewis believes the team must make if they want to catch up with Red Bull and Ferrari, who have been blindingly quick on straights. It was last year, and it is a little bit this year, Hamilton added. Bouncing has gone. I mean, sometimes it occurs a little bit, but most of the time it's not there. It's just a much more beautiful world to be in when it's not bouncing, so you can see the road ahead. Better for the body. We do have some pace to pick up in a straight line. Now that we're only less than a week away from the season opener in Bahrain, many Mercedes fans are eager to know, will their team be able to match up with the likes of Ferrari and Red Bull once the lights go out on Sunday? Thankfully, George Russell has answered that exact question and said, We definitely believe eventually we will have a car capable of giving that fight to Red Bull. Whether we're going to have that next weekend in Bahrain, I think it may be a bit of a stretch, Russell said. Red Bull look very strong, very stable. The car is looking really strong and Max is performing really well. I think, realistically, it will be a stretch for next week. But there's no reason why, eventually, we can't get there at some point this year. Now, Mercedes has had a history of sandbagging and downplaying their capabilities in the past. Whether or not this is the case this season, only time will tell. So where do you see Mercedes finishing at Bahrain? Let us know in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't.